All right, so we are here at Chicago Land in the Cup Series this time of the NASCAR Heat 4 video game. Going to try to lay down a decent lap here, then talk about the setup. I hit a 30.19 earlier. I'm hoping I can at least get a 30.2 here, which I think would be a respectable lap. And um, then talk about the setup a little bit. On the uh, warm-up lap here, I run three and four wide open, but I usually don't do that. I usually lift a little bit. I feel like you got to crank the wheel so hard and you scrub off speed trying to run it wide open. Come into one and two, I lift just a little bit. I think it helps the car settle, and I would lift early so I can have speed uh, on corner exit as opposed to trying to drive it deeper into the corner. Uh, coming into three and four here, I lift just a little bit to try to get the car to settle down to the bottom of the track. Then I try to hug that bottom, let it drift out just enough to get a downhill run onto the apron. And that's not the lap I was looking for. Let's hope we can do it just a hair better and get the 30.2s. Felt good about that lap. It must have just been off by a uh, hair to... to uh, Missed the mark that I was looking for here. Let's see if we can do her a little better this time. Kept it a little lower coming out of four that time. That was a 30.195, so I am pretty happy with that. I think I gained a little bit there by keeping it a little lower coming out of four. So I am going to take that as a 30.19 and be very happy with it. Let's go to the garage, talk about the setup. Okay, this is pretty typical of what you see in a lot of my setups and how I like to run it. Um, I've got the front weight and the wedge very similar to each other, and I also run a lot of a lot of setups that have a lighter front weight. If you run a lighter front weight, that helps save your front tires. It also gives the car a little bit, I think, of a, a not as, the, the wheel doesn't feel as heavy in your hand as when you're running a front weight of 51 or 52 or something. And I also feel like a lighter front weight, it makes it easier to adjust the car. So if I have to change tire pressure or spring rate, I can make a change of a quarter pound or a half pound and feel a difference Now the car is driving. When you get a heavier front weight, it seems like you've got to take a bigger swing at it to change the handling characteristics. Um, the camber settings here. I went down to a negative 2.4, which is a pretty conservative camber setting on the right side. That is designed to make the tires last for a full run. Uh, the left sides really don't wear that much. I was pretty aggressive at a 3.5. I also went with a pretty um, stiff front sway bar, which is stiffer than what you see in a lot of mile and a half tracks, but it seemed to seem to work well, seemed to make the car comfortable here. On the track bars, I've got a difference of two inches in the track bars, which is a lot for me. I'm usually a half inch to an inch. But again, that seems to make the car turn without getting it loose coming out of the corners. And I really try a lot to fine tune the gears. I finally settled on a 1.1 and a 3. I was almost looking at a 1.05 and a 3.07, but I landed on this. I feel like uh, when you get back in the throttle, it just gives you a little bit more drive. So that is the setup. I uh, hope you liked it. Uh, any questions, uh, leave it in the comments or any other tracks you'd like to see, let me know. I love doing these videos. It's a lot of fun. Uh, finally, please, please, please like and subscribe. It would mean a great deal to me. And thank you very much for watching. Much appreciated. Have a good day.